Hey y'all, it's Raj with EV365. Today we're going to show you how you can use your Tesla Universal Wall Connector with a NEMA 1450 plug. All right, y'all, so I've got the Tesla Universal Wall Connector out of the box, and it pretty much comes out of the box just like this, ready to go. You do have this wall plate that's inside of the unit when you pull it out, um, and then the screws and stuff that come with it are in there, and you've got the two screws to mount it and four screws to connect the, the, charge, the unit basically to the wall plate. Um, and then you do get this one bit, that this hex bit that comes with it, which is very important. We will use that to tighten the wires as we feed them in there. Um, and this bit basically will just fit, you know, any standard kind of hex screwdriver you've got. Um, but yeah, that's important to have that bit. And one thing that you can already tell with, when it comes to Tesla's uh, charging, home charging, and even their fast charging, they've got that nailed. The designs are awesome. Um, even as something as simple as this, the the wall plate comes out and all the electrical connecting is on the wall plate. So all you gotta do is deal with this thing, this little thing um, to connect your wires to. It's very easy to work with. Other wall chargers that I've done this with, you've gotta take this face plate off and then you're dealing with the entire base and it just gets bulky dealing with that and then thick wiring. Um, this is just gonna make it so much easier. And then even when you're mounting it, you just mount this up, screw it in, you've got your punch outs for your screws and then you just put on the charger, the, the main unit itself plugs into this thing and gets it power. So just another great design feature. And I wanted to show you, there's punch outs on here that you can put if you're coming in from the wall. There's uh, basically a cap, I already took it off, but a cap that was on the bottom so you can wire in through the bottom. Same cap on the top, you can wire in from the top and you can feed the wires through the top here or come around and go to the bottom or if you come from the bottom, go through here or feed around from the top, depending on what kinds of wires or how much length you're dealing with. And I'm doing the NEMA 1450 connection. That's this plug right here, um, because I've already got a NEMA 1450 outlet at home, and that'll give me the flexibility to be able to unplug this unit and test out other chargers as I get them and things like that. Um, and if I ever do need to pull the full 48 amps that the Tesla is capable of doing on a 60 amp breaker, then I'll get it hardwired at that point. But for now, I'm okay with the NEMA 1450 connection. I'll only be able to charge at 40 amps on a 50 amp breaker. Um, and that's just because you wanna pull about 80% of what your breaker will give you or what your breaker's rated at. Um, but that, that works for me and for the vehicles that I've got. And so I got this plug, it's a six foot plug. Um, I wouldn't go much longer than six foot. Really, they recommend you kind of stay around three feet, but. I needed a little bit of more length. So I got a six foot dryer plug from Home Depot. You can get these at Lowe's, you can get them off of Amazon, basically any hardware store. Um, and the only thing you need to do when you get it, the ones at the stores come with these um, connectors on them. So you can connect them to your dryer. Um, you just need to cut those off with a normal wire cutter, which I already did. And then you just need to use a wire stripper to take a little bit of the casings off on each of them. Um, and you can see the casings are right here. There you go. Um, so I already pulled those off. The white wire, which is your neutral, you need those for those appliances. These charging stations typically don't use that. So I just cut off the connector and just capped it. So it's not exposed to anything. Um, and then really, whether you're hardwiring or connecting using a plug like this, um, obviously your wire gauge is going to be different. If you hardwire, they're probably going to use a four gauge wire. This is a six gauge wire. Um, but you feed it in through one of your holes, uh, one of the punch out holes that you're coming through. And then you put your black and your red in these first two slots. Those are your hot wires. And then you put your ground in this slot and tighten it up with that bit that they gave you. So I'm going to do that. Um, and then check back in so you don't see me fumbling around doing that. But it really is as simple as sliding those wires in. And again, Tesla put some really nice slots that look like they're gonna be easy to feed the wires through. I've seen some slots that are, are a little narrow or small and it's tough to get the wires in. And these are like individual small copper wires. 
um, that'll start fraying if the hole's too small, but this is gonna be perfect. Um, so I think this should be pretty simple. So I'll, I'll, I'll feed them in and then we'll tighten them together. And the charger itself does say that you need to uh, use a torque up to uh, torque to 50 pound feet inch, um, which is not super tight. It is tight, but not like anything out of the ordinary. So I just use my calibrated torque wrench right here, known as my hand. Um, but if you want to get exact, um, you can get a torque screwdriver and set it and it'll tighten it for you um, right up to that torque level. Um, and one thing I wanted to point out, obviously, I'm, I'm not an electrician, but I am comfortable with doing this type of work. Um, if this is not something that you're used to working with or you're just not comfortable with it, just hire an electrician. Let them know you want to put a pigtail on there um, or hardwire it and they can do that for you. And it's worth it. It's better to always be safe um, when dealing with, with electricity and especially these chargers that pull quite a bit of power. Um, you can kind of think of it as they're pulling maybe a couple of dryers worth of power or, you know, a few large AC units. So yeah, that's quite a bit of power. So you just want to make sure you're safe with all that. All right, we'll get these wires in and then we'll pop back in. All right, y'all. So we got the wires connected. And as I mentioned before, these wires, you know, these are six gauge wires when you're using a NEMA 1450 plug. Um, if we were connecting using a direct connection from the wall and wanting to pull that uh, 48 amps on a 60 amp breaker, you're gonna use four uh, gauge wire, which is even thicker. Um, but we got them connected. They're always a bear to work with. I ended up cutting the white wire, the, the, uh, the uh, white wire a little bit shorter just to, so I didn't have to mess around with that when I was working with it. I had to cut the sheathing a little um, so I could get the green and the red in. Honestly, you could probably cut these at different lengths to make it a little easier, but that's in there and they're all in there tight. Um, and so that's pretty much it as far as the wiring goes. So now we're connected with the plug. Um, and after the fact, I'll put something that holds the wire in place so it's not tugging on the connection. Um, but then all we do after this is pop on. Let's just make sure there's nothing. Yeah, there's a remove cover here. I think we can take that off. Uh, make sure there's nothing else we need to worry about. Nope. We can take this and pop it on. Yep. It just fits right in place. And I can get this plugged in to the, to the outlet. Let me just show you that outlet over here. Um, yeah, there it is. Here, we'll go ahead and pop that in and... Turn that around and see if we've got power. There you go. You can see that green light coming on and we are good to go. Well, that's just, that's getting the NEMA 1450 plug on the Tesla Universal Wall Connector. And uh, we'll have another video about actually using this connector and reviewing it. So please tune in for that. But thanks for watching and let me know if you have any questions in the comments or if there's anything else y'all wanna see, thanks. Hang loose, y'all.